So we're here at Sharston Depot here today in Manchester, a very important part of Stagecoach Group, uh, to demonstrate a pilot that we are launching uh, with an autonomous vehicle, bus, full single decker, which is doing some bus movements around the depot, looking at parking, fueling and washing. Very interesting, exciting development, I think, in, in the future of public transport. Stagecoach, I think since it was born, has always wanted to be the innovator, the disruptor uh, in, the, in the public transport space. And, and I think this is no different. Uh, I think we need to embrace new technology, we need to understand what it can offer, whether that's safety benefits, efficiency benefits, what will that mean for our passengers in the, in, in the long term. Well, Alexander Dennis, we're system integrators and we like to think we work with the best in class innovators in the industry. Clearly autonomous bus technology is a huge enabler for the future, particularly around safety. Cyclist left. This is a technology trial and I think from that standpoint it's going to teach all of us lots of things as we continue to Im implement best in class technology on our vehicles. Cavstar is our autonomous driving system and it comprises of a number of sensors and a controller. It's a fully encompassing autonomous uh, driving system which can be fitted to most vehicles. Cavstar uses its various sensors uh, and it builds up a picture uh, as it progresses uh, on, its, on its course uh, so it can determine where everything is, where the obstacles are and it uses all of that information to both determine uh, exactly where it is, uh, but also what hazards there might be around it that it needs to avoid, take evasive action or stop for. There's a lot of advantages to the technology and one of those being safety, uh, another being efficiency and uh, they work uh, very well uh, with a safety driver in place and there's lots of advantages to retaining uh, a driver, taking a management role, looking after, after the safety and comfort of their passengers. We need to take the staff and the wider employee base and our customers with us on this. And, uh, you know, I, I think what I've heard so far, the drivers are supportive of, 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 of the learning. Um, it won't, won't be for everywhere, um, but, but it will be more suitable to certain parts of operations that we do going forward. And I do think, you know, as the technology advances, we'll learn more. So the next step is uh, CAV4, which is our new project, which is backed by Innovate UK. Uh, and that will see a pilot service being run from Fife into Edinburgh across the Forth Bridge. Uh, and that will uh, include uh, five vehicles, which are all fitted with CAV Star to run autonomously. And uh, we anticipate that they'll be carrying up to 12,000 passengers per week on that route.